Wilson's time with the Denver Broncos is over, and I thought that would make a perfect opportunity for us Seahawk fans to take a look back and recap this trade now that it's completely over and Russell Wilson's tenure with the Denver Broncos is over. This is more of a reflection, not a like, you know, oh, I told you so moment for Seahawks fans or making fun of the Broncos or making fun of Russell Wilson because he's not on our team. He's a free agent. The trade's over. And overall, it's pretty safe to say we freaking fleeced the Denver Broncos. We fleeced them. And it ends up being one of the best trades probably in Seattle Seahawks history. And I don't think it's hyperbolic to say could be one of the most lopsided and best trades in the history of the NFL. It is that bad. It is that big of a difference between what the Seahawks gave up versus what the Seahawks are getting. It's crazy just how much we fleeced the Denver Broncos in this trade. At the end of a trade, we ended up getting, well, most of us know this, in exchange for Russ, Seattle got two first round picks, two second round picks, a third round pick, Noah Fant, um, Drew Locke, and Harris as well. Like overall, just a fleece of a trade. God, and looking back at it, I mean, who, look, I, when this trade happened, a lot of Seahawks fans were like, all right, cool, it's time to move on from Russ, and you know, this is gonna be a good trade for us, we need to move on. But I think it would have been hard pressed for many of us to think we were gonna be able to actually really take over this much and actually get this much off the trade and Russ was going to be as bad as he was where his tenure with the Denver Broncos lasts just under two seasons and I have a list of the players that we got on the trade and I'm going to go through them here in a second and we got about a total of eight players on the trade so that is like the implications. We ended up getting the best trade possible. So let's kind of recap back on who are the eight players we ended up with on the trade and I guess what their impact is on the team now that we're kind of looking back at it. First and foremost, let's talk about quarterback Drew Locke. I think overall we just got a pretty good backup quarterback, a guy who was able to you know come in and win us a pretty cool game on Monday Night Football earlier in the season, and a guy who a lot of fans like. I don't think Drew Locke is ever going to be the long-term starting quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks or anything, but could he be a serviceable backup for many years down the line? I sure think so, and that's maybe just good enough as you know part of the trade that we got a serviceable backup quarterback and frankly a guy that it seems like a good teammate in a good locker room guy we got tight end noah fant um pretty good tight end uh, he's not like an all pro he's not a super duper duper star but he's a starting tight end caliber in the national football league um so we got a starting tight end for our quarterback as one of the players can't really complain about that i don't think he was like the biggest part of a deal but just having someone like noah fant on the team does help next we got shelby uh harris <sighs> two sacks four passes last in the season um he became unsigned kind of an underwhelming guy kind of a filler in the trade kind of expected more from shelby harris but nothing to complain about there he's not hurting our salary cap he's not taking up much roster space or anything like that so overall you can't be too mad about shelby harris charles Carros with the 2022 first round pick great he is a starting and a high-end starting left tackle in the national football league what can more can you ask for this is what one of the highlights of the trade is you get a starting left tackle for you know if i'm gonna guess seven to ten years if and just having that they say it's even six years is a great great piece charles cross has been someone who's helped save our offensive line Definitely a huge part of the trade, a guy that we all like, and definitely a big part of a trade. We got outside linebacker boy Maffe. And, you know, Maffe has been really, really good. I think he's been the biggest surprise. I don't think we I honestly thought that a fifth round draft pick, or sorry, second round draft pick sec linebacker would be that great. But he has been. He's been a playmaker. He's been solid. He's been really good for the team. So you have to be really happy with that. Uh, we got outside linebacker Tyreek Smith. He's been underwhelming, basically not even playing. 
Devin Witherspoon with the first round draft pick. Seems like he could be a top five corner in the league. So we got, I mean, just the guys we got with Boy Mafe, Devin Witherspoon, and uh, Charles Cross. It's like three guys that are so high end. Like we're talking about guys who can become top like 10 at their position in the league for Russell Wilson. So you got to love that. I think it's Seattle Seahawks fans love Devin Witherspoon. And we got edge rusher Derek Hall for 2000 and 23 for second round pick which by the way i think despite him having like not the greatest season i think he could be better than boy mafe like he's was rated higher as a prospect so he could end up being another part of a trade that we look at down the line and are like damn this guy has really surprised us this guy is really good and this guy is being a playmaker for the seattle seahawks so overall for the seattle seahawks we ended up getting a huge, huge uh, haul for Russell Wilson. We got gave up Russell Wilson and Niuma, who was a rookie, who was the fourth round pick. We sent them a fourth round pick, and we got Drew Locke, Noah Fant, Shelby Harris, Charles Cross, Boye Mafe, Tyreek Smith, Devin Witherspoon, and Derek Hall in the trade. The Seahawks fleeced the Denver Broncos, and honestly, like this is no offense to Russ or anything, but I mean, I kind of feel good about it because Denver Bronco fans were being pretty mean to Seattle Seahawks fans over Twitter after the trade. And, uh, they ended up losing the trade big time. And I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, right? Like if you're like what other fans are saying against your fans, but it is fun to have bragging rights. And overall, looking back at the Russell Wilson trade, now that he's been cut by the Denver Broncos, it's pretty safe to say the Seahawks fleeced the Denver Broncos, and this is one of the most lopsided trades in NFL history. So thank you for reaching the end of this video. I'm George on Tap, part of Seattle on Tap and the Sports on Tap Network. Thank you for watching this video. If you got to the end, like and comment your thoughts on the video and the Russell Wilson trade in general. And would you like to see Russell Wilson back in a Seattle Seahawks uniform one day? Like personally, I do not. I think like we've moved on. Don't really have like that feeling like I want Russell Wilson to come back and play for the Seattle Seahawks. We had his time. He won us a Super Bowl. It was obviously like one of the greatest times in Seattle Seahawks history, but it's over now. And I would rather like not live in that rear view mirror where we're talking about bringing Russell Wilson back. Thank you for your time and service, Russ. I really do, um, you know, despite me not being like the biggest Russell Wilson fan, I do hope he has a good rest of his career because it is pretty sad to see him kind of going out like this kind of sad to see how the broncos treated him i if i was a, a russell wilson and his agent i would probably go somewhere where i can you know have a good chance to win like pittsburgh maybe the steelers the falcons maybe those are like the two obvious ones nfc south you know if baker mayfield doesn't resign with the buccaneers which i think he will that's somewhere you could also go but overall, I kind of would, you know, wouldn't mind seeing him get a fresh start. No offense to him, but I think the Seahawks need to stay away. So I hope you like this video. If you're looking for our Mariners content, by the way, you go to youtube.com at Mariners on tap. You can find our Mariners content there and our Huskies content at Huskies on tap on YouTube. Our Huskies content is there as well. I thank you for watching here to the end of the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, as I said earlier. We appreciate it, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for stopping by.